Здравствуйте, товарищи, и добро пожаловать uh, в Минск. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Partizan, and um, I'm coming here from uh, Minsk, which is the capital of Belarus. Okay, now, um, one question that I often get asked here um, by a lot of my friends and co-workers here who I meet every day, as all normal, is that why Belarus? Why did I end up here in uh, Belarus? Well, it's actually quite an interesting question because there are so few foreigners here. Uh, not many Westerners live and work here in, uh, in Belarus. Uh, so I'm going to tell you why, okay? So this happened, um, the event happened about 15 years ago. I was uh, living and uh, studying in Bulgaria at the American University in uh, Bulgaria. And while there, I met um, a very good friend of mine. His name is Gleb, uh, Gleb Kanakov. Uh, he no longer lives in Minsk, of course. He's now since moved to Poland. Um, but at the time, he, uh, both of us were studying at this university. And um, we struck up uh, a very good uh, friendship. So um, anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, I, came, I returned back to Ireland in mid to late uh, 20, 2004 and so we kept in contact Facebook came along and we messaged each other every now and then not very often but every now and then okay but anyway um, sometime back in 2010 2011 we made contact uh, with each other and um, Gleb being the guy very hospitable guy friendly guy that he was um, said to me that, you know, why don't you visit my country, the country that is um, Belarus. So, yeah, I said, why not? Of course, there was a catch at the time, and the catch was, was that we needed, Irish people at the time needed a visa uh, to go to uh, Belarus, okay? Uh, but anyway, um, along came the Ice Hockey World Championships in 20, when was it? 2014. And I bought a ticket and that enabled me to enter Belarus uh, visa-free. This was the first time that, that visa-free regime ever happened. And so I entered Belarus, uh, Minsk. I, I met Gleb for the first time in many years. And we had a great time. I went to a couple of ice hockey games, met a lot of people. And I made a, uh, not a quest, but uh, I told myself that I would return back to uh, Minsk uh, someday uh, in the near future, whenever uh, it would happen. But anyway, uh, long story short, I went back to Dublin, uh, back to Ireland, and returned to my job. However, about two months after I returned to my job, I was made redundant. Uh, so I decided to uh, return to Belarus in late uh, 2014, early 2015. So that's exactly what I did. And uh, so I went back to Belarus as a tourist. I was out of work at the time. And while I was out one night, uh, a friend of a friend, a uh, friend of Gleb's, and a friend of, uh, of the friend who was there uh, asked me, well, what are you doing here? And I said, look, I'm just a tourist, I'm not doing anything, not working at the moment. And so uh, he said to me, well, do you know that there's a company here in, in Minsk called EPAM Systems? I said, yes, I do. And they're looking for guys like you. And I said, well, that's a problem because I don't, I'm not an IT guy, and my background is education and so on. Well, he said, not IT, but looking for uh, guys like you, native English speakers, who uh, will teach the employees uh, English. And I said, hmm, interesting. So anyway, went home that night and uh, applied for a job at uh, EPAM Systems. Um, I got the call pretty much straight away. The following Monday, I went in for an interview, and to cut a long story short, I got the job. 
and that was in February 2015 it's now July 2019 over four years later and um, I'm still here in uh, in Minsk in Belarus and I have to say there's a car there going going by I like it here um, if you ever want to visit Minsk I highly recommend to do so it's a very clean city very safe city um, unlike a lot of other cities in um, in Eastern Europe everything works here everything goes on time everything's structured everything is ordered it's extremely safe city to be in and every weekend this city becomes alive with various uh, different activities a lot of activities going on here uh, in this city uh, every weekend go down to around Zubit Sky Street and the Amiga that's where everything is happening that's where all the um, bars and cafes and clubs most of them are located so yeah it's a good idea I highly recommend you come to Belarus don't believe any of the crap uh, in the Western media it's complete and uh, utter baloney this is a very safe city it feels very very European and uh, people here are very friendly very open people I have to say and if I didn't like living here well I wouldn't be here to be honest with you you know so we've been here over four years and I have to say I really like this country it's a great country uh, the food I love the food the uh, chicken cutlets and borscht so Yank, uh, I was the local say cutleta cutleta kurinaya with a shot of vodka and such. So yeah, it's a great country, very clean, very safe. Please visit Belarus, please visit Minsk. You will not be disappointed, trust me. And when you're here, come here for 30 days. Remember that um, citizens of the European Union can visit this country visa-free for a period of 30 days. So no, you're not, no longer need a visa. And it's on the condition that you, you know, that you come here through Minsk Airport and leave via Minsk Airport. So when you're in Belarus, see Minsk. But not, not only Minsk, travel to other cities like um, Palatsk, Grodno, Brest, Mogilov, Gomel, Vitebsk. Um, place where I was last week with the Triple G, a guy from the Rouge Forum. Place called Mozir. So come to Mozir. And you will see Mozart's a very, very nice city. You see Mozart Castle. Unfortunately, we couldn't visit Mozart Castle because it was closed at the time. But yeah, visit, come, to, come to Belarus, guys. Come to visit this amazing, fascinating country. And you will not be disappointed. That's enough from me for the time being. So, as the locals here say, Dosvidanya i dostarechi.